Guillermo and Claudia and I sort of bandied around the idea of exhibiting our work together. I think it was Claudia who said, maybe we should try to do one exhibition together. And the three of us uh, thought, you know what, it's a, it's a good idea, let's try. There were a lot of uh, through lines through the work that we were all making. And, you know, there was a real focus on materiality and a, a graphic nature to it. And they just, just visually and just uh, based on the work that we um, had all presented at that point, we, we thought that um, visually it would be really great. COVID really postponed things and changed the ideas for the show. And what we have now, it's basically the original application, let's say, but completely influenced and reshaped through the COVID situation. So three artists and then also three sites, so Manila, Acapulco and Ottawa, we could all just go to our own studios and, um, you know, make work that, that reflects on that as a theme. Having been both in the Philippines and Mexico, anytime I had gone to Mexico, I felt a real, there was a familiarity to it. And knowing that Claudia is half Mexican and half Uruguayan and that Guillermo is Mexican, I thought I'd do a little bit of research and uh, realized that um, the, the first global trade route ran between Manila and Acapulco. It was just a feeling. Um, and then it turned out to be um, maybe quite a bit more than a feeling. It would turn out to be history. So this is called Benevolent Assimilation, which is the uh, slogan that the United States of America used um, when they were colonizing the Philippines. And I think they said something about our little brown brothers, helping our little brown brothers, um, which is a little bit of a distraction from the real reason they were there, which was they were there to uh, extract a lot of rubber from the Philippines for their war machine. Um, so what you see here is rubber and as well as uh, a natural woven material, pandanas, uh, which sort of denotes like the traditional, you know, the traditional um, and an attempt to combine the traditional with the contemporary. The way that I work for making these things is this uh, it's a technique that I, that I developed for myself. I'm sure that it's a technique that has been used by other people, and I'm not saying that I'm the first one, but uh, I will uh, put a layer of Crayola of one color, and then I will put another layer of Crayola on the top, and then another layer of Crayola. And, and the nice thing about the materials is that they don't mix. If you put, let's say, uh, yellow and blue, uh, the combination of the colors doesn't become green. It stays blue and yellow. So they have this uh, uh, quality where the materials don't, don't mix. So it's like layers. Uh, I realized that the I started to work with the side of the panels too. So I started to put color in the side of the panels. And then suddenly the things went from B uh, two-dimensional to almost three-dimensional, right? One thing that came to my mind was the idea of the uh, of like a shack uh, or these these uh, really rustic they're called palapas in Mexico really rustic shacks in the beach where you can go and have a beer or eat fish or whatever and I always love the fact that they use really bright colors and I always wonder if the decision of the color is based on accessibility basically paint that nobody wants and then these people get for free or if there is a true understanding of theory of color in a completely different way where they can just go pink with yellow and it will always work. Specifically in my case, the whole exhibition was a truly consequence of COVID because if it wasn't for COVID, I might have developed some, something completely different. Uh, I feel like at some point, uh, uh, analyzing the work a little bit deeper, I feel like it's it kind of shows a lot of my, to some degree, anxiety during COVID because uh, I will come to the basement to work in my studio and basically I will just uh, use the 
the Crayola to fill up the whole space and then fill it up again and then remove it and fill it up. So I feel like somehow there might not be a direct relation to the specific situation, but the process itself it has a lot of this repeating and kind of filling up the time. Thank you for visiting Manila Alcapulco at City Hall Art Gallery.